The alarming rise of online Thanos worship. I'm seeing a frightening amount of people doing hashtag Thanos did nothing wrong or hashtag Thanos for president or Thanos was right. Something always in support of Thanos. Let's take a look at some of the stuff here. So we see here, someday I want a big enough platform to push my Thanos did nothing wrong agenda. Okay, my opinion is formed. Hashtag Thanos did nothing wrong. Same. Thanos did nothing wrong. Hashtag. I sure wish Thanos would hurry up and get here. In case you haven't seen Avengers Infinity War, at the end of the movie, Thanos snaps his fingers and half the planetary population dies instantaneously. So most people don't realize that this is a Malthusian ideology. Malthus, Thomas Malthus was concerned about population. So the definition of Malthusian is of or relating to Malthus or his theory that population tends to increase at a faster rate than its means of subsistence and that unless it is checked by moral restraint or disaster such as disease, famine, or war, widespread poverty and degradation inevitably result. Now in college we learned about Malthus and Charles Darwin and natural selection as well as the carrying capacity of a population. But, in my particular courses, we also learn that Malthusianism and Darwinianism have been used as a justification for mass murder, genocide, megadeth killings, slaughters, or engineering famines. If you worship Thanos, you probably also like Thomas Malthus, John Maynard Keynes, Vladimir Lenin, you like the discussion of the positive economic impact of the bubonic plague to the survivors that left. The Georgia Guidestones, Charles Darwin, you probably support abortion, and you're probably a big fan of zombie films. I always wondered what the draw to zombie films were. Now I've drawn the correlation. People like to see mass murder. And that is pretty frightening. Now, if your panties are in a bunch because I said you probably support abortion, my approach to abortion has nothing to do with religion or politics. It has everything to do with survival. Now, since 1973, it is said, at least by this publication, that 60 million abortions in America have occurred since Roe v. Wade. The United States marks 45 years of legalized abortion in all 50 states at any time for any reason throughout pregnancy. And I'm not trying to get into a debate about abortion. I'm trying to provide a little lens and a context. Now, 60 million people. Let me show you how many 60 million since 1974 is. 60 million people would make it the 21st or 22nd largest country in the world, right near the United Kingdom and France. And this is just since 1974, whereas these countries have been around for hundreds of, and thousands of years. And now I'm about to show you an abundance of Thanos was right, Thanos was not wrong, hashtag campaigns to layer this effect to condition you to get to accept Thanos and killing off half of the population to get you used to it, to make it seem popular and cool and in style, to mass murder half the population and justify it. And I could guarantee you 90%, if not 100% of those people throwing up that hashtag probably also support legalized abortion. They like to get rid of the inconvenient things. And again, not from a religious or political perspective, I see this as a subconscious tactic for the desire for mass murder. If you get people used to killing off unwanted pregnancies, those inconveniences, and get them layered on that, and now we're 45 years in, the next thing is you could then suggest to kill off the elderly population and you could create all kinds of justifications for that, how old people don't contribute, they just consume, they take from society, they don't give, and in a million other different ways. And I know these same people, if you talk to them about the elderly, they want to get rid of the elderly as well. So they want to get rid of the unborn kids, they want to get rid of the elderly. The next thing they want to then get rid of are conspiracy theorists like myself or political dissidents or people that go, don't go along with whatever the flavor of the month is. And a lot of people are seeing that, you know, let's say you are on the side of a particular ideology. If you don't go party line all the way with that one, they then eat you. So <laughs> these recent events of school shootings, 
a lot of people found out that if they like their guns, they're no longer part of the team and they're outcasted. And they're saying, enough of that. And this kind of mob mentality where it's always cannibalizing somebody who's not conforming, you can see how this leads to mass hundreds of millions of killings. And let me show you what occurred in the in the 20th century. But actually, you know, I'm going to hold on to later on to show that. I just want to let you know, sometimes when I've talked to people about the abortion statistics, they say to me, imagine if we didn't kill off those 60 million people. And they feel justified with supporting Thanos as well. And a lot of times people can put their secret ideology out in cute little memes. And so most of it's uh, harmless or they can laugh it off. Ha ha, it's just a meme. But you, you wind up finding in certain situations, like, hey, man, you actually really believe this. Look at this. The hardest choices require the strongest will, Thanos. And uh, then you got some parodies. So it's all done in tongue-in-cheek deniability, plausible deniability. Time for greatness, Thanos for president. It's just the abundance of this. He brought balance to the universe when no one else would. Now, is it a joke? Is this a troll job? You don't have to feed half the population if they're dead. Seems like a joke, but they mean it through Malthusianism. Have the population. Double the resources. Am I wrong, dude? You're not wrong, Thanos. You're just an a-hole. Pessimist. Half empty. Optimist. Half full. Thanos. Perfectly balanced. Thanos did nothing wrong. Changed my mind. Well, that's what I'm trying to do right now. Thanos 2020. Thanos did nothing wrong. Thanos 2020. Thanos did nothing wrong. And you got the hashtag Thanos did nothing wrong on YouTube. You could try it out on Twitter, see all the Thanos was right, all the different variants of it. And it seems like it's a joke, haha, ha, it's funny, but people actually are really feeling this and they're defending it and they'll stand by it. And I'm pretty sure some of you watching this right now are probably upset about it. And again, this is, I'm trying to protect myself. And I'm trying to protect everybody. You start killing babies. You start killing old people. You start killing political dissidents. Eventually, you end up killing everybody. Just think of The Simpsons when Homer's always leading the mob against whoever, usually against Lisa for whatever she's thinking about. And the mob always changes their mind to, oh, let's get for this. And then, ah, oh, let's get for this. And if you think this is a joke, I saw a video well-produced, professionally produced with tens of millions of views on it that had a thorough explanation of the economic benefits of the bubonic plague for the survivors. It had pie charts and graphs, line charts, population statistics, average household income, standard of living. It was really making the case that they need to kill off half the population. And this is dangerous. This is what conspiracy theory has trained us against, is this depopulation agenda, which... I guess has its origins in Malthusianism as a profession, as an institution. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think we should just let humanity run wild. And in many cases, the Chinese probably had to do what they had to do with their one-child policy. But you got to keep this stuff in check. You can't openly support population. I mean, population control, and with that phrase, sounds crazy. Maintenance. Uh, but you know, there's Agenda 21 stuff that's out there. There's all kinds of crazy New World Order, UN things. And uh, eventually they come for you. That's really what it boils down to. You may think that you're going to be a part of the half the population that's not going to get killed by Thanos. Or you may not care and you want to die. But for those of us that want to live, please don't kill us. And uh, this, this site is a little bit biased, but it says the, the more than 100 million deaths that communism caused divided by countries. And this is just in the 20th century. So 100 million deaths and pretty sure Malthusianism had a little bit to do with it. I mean, basically Thanos snapped his finger, 100 million people died. And the same people that are into this ideology are probably also into Thanos. Just saying. That was the part that I said I'd get to. I'm just trying to make sure this stuff is known. A lot of people unknowingly don't realize what they're supporting. It's not about ID. Well, this is an ideology, the Thanos ideology. When you see it online, start to check what these people are into. Chances are pro-abortion. They probably are really into zombie films. You just got to wonder about that. And these are all slippery slopes. It's to condition you to accept this kind of stuff. The Thanos thing seems like a joke. 
on the surface. But when you put it all together, you find out like, hey, these people have no problem with killing off millions of people. That is, fr and they justify it in their minds. That's just something to be concerned about. We can't let that kind of stuff get out of control because it destroys the sanctity of life. Human beings, we're all humans. We all share the planet. And it also supports this scarcity ideology. The resources are there to feed everybody. We have the capability with the food production methods in 1981 to feed 11 billion people. We're currently 7.5 billion. So we do have the methods and we probably have a lot more methods now to feed even more people. I got that number from The Grunch of Giants, written by R. Buckminster Fuller, who was liberal and Democrat. And I read Fuller all the time. I'm a supporter of Buckminster Fuller's thoughts. Uh, but I'm not in support of the agenda behind Malthusianism. Thomas Malthus had points. You have to observe your population and understand there is a carrying capacity and that's also applied to the animal kingdom, plant kingdom, and whatnot. But this kind of stuff unchecked and everybody having a ball, talking about Thanos snapping his fingers, killing off 60 million unborn kids since 1974 in the United States, like the U.S. has committed an atrocity. We've killed 60 million unborn people. That's like the 21st largest country in the world. And we justify it. And we think it's great. So that's my position. You you could have yours if you... Th but I, look, I, I just don't share it. I understand there... In the case of abortions, obviously, there's special circumstances. I th I'm just against the, the saying this is a great thing to do. And not just an abortion, but Thanos... The worship of Thanos online should alarm anybody. If you are one of the Thanos worshipers, feel free to enlighten me. I mean, yeah, there are places that are overpopulated, I get it, but to parade it? I mean, think it silently, but it, I'm seeing this across the board with a lot of people, and there are similarities and dot connections and ideologies that are all interconnected with this, and it all has to do with mass murder. Anyway, so you get my point. I really wanted to bring this to just people's attention just so you could see it, you could look back, see if you saw what I'm talking about. Maybe you saw it yourself. I don't know. I'm a conspiracy theorist. And in conspiracy theory, we look for the depopulation agenda. That's all. So really, my ideology, my agenda is coming just from the conspiracy theory agenda. That lens. And we're just spotting something that's alarming. Thanos worship online. Drop your comments below. I'd like to hear about it. Even if you oppose me. Look, we could all have different opinions. So I'd like to hear what you have to say. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.